To say there's been a lot of reaction after Paul Pogba's penalty miss against Wolves is a bit of an understatement. And Gary Neville certainly had plenty to say when he was discussing that miss on Monday Night Football straight after the one-all draw. What I want to do in this video is run through everything Gary Neville had to say and give my own opinion on whether his comments are fair or not. And as well as that, I'm going to be covering his comments on Alexis Sanchez and his potential exit from Manchester United this summer. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to United People's TV and you are new to the channel, make sure you get involved and subscribe. There's plenty of these types of reaction videos as well as lots more. But let's get straight into this one. There's no better place to start than right at the beginning. And this is the first thing that Gary had to say about the Pogba penalty situation. It isn't right. We don't just come on air tonight and say, which piece of analysis are you doing? Are you doing this one or am I doing this one? We decide before we come on. They should decide in the dressing room who is the penalty taker. Remind us what happened tonight. It's embarrassing. Minus I feel I share a lot of your opinions here when I say that this is a massive overreaction from Gary Neville. It was a penalty miss, and as far as I was concerned, it was a good penalty from Pogba. Hard, not in the corner, but certainly not down the middle. It was a good save from Rui Patricio. Players miss penalties. It's not an embarrassing situation. But I do agree that it should be sorted in the dressing room who's taking the penalty, rather than on the pitch and around the penalty box. Embarrassing is the wrong word to use for it, but that's just basic structure, I think. Now, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, after the game, said that both Rashford and Pogba were designated penalty takers. So that in itself causes confusion. But to call this whole situation embarrassing and point the finger at Pogba and Rashford, I think is a, a bit of an overreaction here from Neville. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. But while I wouldn't call it embarrassing, I wouldn't really want to see it happen again. I don't think that United need to have two designated penalty takers. That just causes unnecessary confusion. It's either Pogba or it's Rashford. And that's down to Solskjaer to decide, or the players to decide between themselves, but not on the edge of the box at that particular moment in time. Now, while I disagree with what Gary had to say about it being an embarrassing situation for United, I do agree with the next point he had to make. If, if, if the manager has said, go and sort it yourselves, because but to be that's fair... that's not right. No, no, but Pep Guardiola just said... I don't care who does it, it's not, not right. Pep Guardiola said, basically, go and choose your captain. So Pep, some managers nowadays do allow the dressing room to take responsibility, accountability, put them into the sort of independent thinking mind that they're not telling them what to do all the time. Even if the players have got to decide themselves, the guy who scored last week surely takes the penalty if they're sorting it out between themselves. The penalty that Rashford scored against Chelsea wasn't just a knock it in the corner. It was an absolutely top corner power penalty. And he hasn't missed a professional penalty for United. So after he scored that goal last week, I agree with Gary here. Rashford should be taking it. But it shouldn't be down to Rashford to take the ball away from Pogba and say, no, this is mine to take. That should be down to Pogba being the experienced player that he is, saying, look, you scored that goal last week from the penalty spot. Here's the ball. You take it. That's where I think the problem is here. In this whole situation, Pogba should have, I don't know, said, look, Rashford, you, <laughs> you stuck it in the top corner last week. I shouldn't really be taking it away from you, even if he wanted to take it. But it's certainly not an embarrassing, huge problem that I think Gary's making it out to be here. And the final point I want to look at that Gary had to say was this idea that Dan James was maybe the biggest leader on the pitch. My biggest concern, to be honest with you, is that Daniel James, the youngest Manchester United, the most naive, newest Manchester United player, seems like the biggest leader. There's 11, but they're a young team, Manchester United. It's a 24 year, 24 and a half years average age. There isn't anybody out on that pitch who basically has said, look, Paul, there you go. Pogba is the most experienced. Now, what Gary is suggesting here is that somebody goes up to Pogba, say Harry Maguire, for example, takes the ball out of his hand, said, no, Paul, this is Marcus's penalty. That is 10 times more embarrassing than what happened against Wolves because it wasn't embarrassing. It was a professional footballer deciding with another professional footballer that you take the penalty and he missed it and it wasn't a bad penalty. For somebody like, I don't know, Parry Maguire, for example, to come and undermine that, take the ball away from Popper and say, no, Rashford's taking it. That's an embarrassing situation. I just hope that this situation, or whatever you want to call it, doesn't happen again in the future. And for me now, surely, Rashford has to be taking 
every single penalty for United until he misses. And when he misses, the opportunity for Pogba to come back in and take the penalties will be there again. But you can't hide behind the numbers. He has missed four out of his last 11 penalties. And United should be putting their best foot forward in every single way this season. And certainly from the penalty spot, that's got to be Marcus Rashford. But while I agree there that the players need to sort it between themselves in the dressing room, don't wait to do it at the side of the pitch. I think Gary's right there. To call it an embarrassment is a massive, massive overreaction. And to suggest that somebody should have taken the ball away from Pogba and given it to Rashford, that would have been a lot more embarrassing than what actually happened. Now, as well as talking about Pogba and that penalty, Gary Neville discussed Alexis Sanchez and he gave his thoughts on whether he should be leaving United this summer. I like the team a lot more to, just to start with, just even looking at them. You know, you talk about uh, Alexis Sanchez tonight going over to Italy and I, I welcomed him coming to the club because I thought he would be a, a forward that would play all across the line, he'd score goals, he's tenacious, but it's been a disaster. He's been an absolute disaster. I mean, I, I, I have no idea what's happened to Alexis Sanchez. There must be two of them. The one that we saw playing for Barcelona and Arsenal for sort of like five, six, seven, eight years. The one that's turned up in Manchester. I, I have no idea what it is. And I've got so much respect for him in terms of what I saw. Even, you know, we talk so well about him. But they need to now get him out of the club. I could not agree with Gary any more here if I tried. Now, you'll remember I did a video early this week about Solskjaer's plan for this year. And I did a segment on Alexis Sanchez saying, you know, what if? What if Sanchez does stay at United? And what if he does start contributing goals to us? I stand by that point. But I would much rather see him leave the club. And I said it before the summer that Sanchez leaving was one of the single most important pieces of business that United needed to do to begin this rebuild. Because like Fellaini was when Moyes left, he was a relic a symbol of the past that you wanted to disassociate yourself with. Unfortunately for Sanchez, I think he is a new relic of the Mourinho period, the overindulgent period where we signed a lot of players, a lot of big players that didn't work out. And Sanchez is the biggest prime example of that. His attitude hasn't worked out. He isn't that Arsenal and Barcelona forward that tore it up at those clubs. He is a completely different man. And while he could turn it around this year, maybe Solskjaer will keep him because we lack options in, in attack. Getting rid of him, I think, would be one of the best pieces of business that we do this summer. It's so important to get rid of the old to make space for the new. Mason Greenwood only got a couple of minutes against Wolves from the bench, which I thought was weird. He would have got even less if Alexis Sanchez was ahead of him. At no point in this season do I want to rely on Alexis Sanchez. And I still stand by my comments that, you know, what if he could turn it around? It would be great. Of course it would. We'd have an, a better goal scorer than we did before. But a better situation for everybody is for him to leave United. And I do think he has been an absolute... I would say Sanchez's United career is more embarrassing than that Pogba penalty situation. The whole thing stinks with Sanchez. And I want to get rid of that from our club. Let me know what you think about that. But for me, Gary Neville's spot on here. Just like we got rid of Lukaku, get rid of Sanchez. If he doesn't want to be here, doesn't want to play for the shirt like Dan James has shown so much in his first two appearances, get rid of him. Sooner rather than later. So I think Gary's spot on here. But what's your take on the whole Paul Pogba penalty situation against Wolves? Who should have taken it? Is the whole situation wrong? Let me know what you think about this in the comments below because... There was a lot of opinion floating around. Nothing right or wrong, but clearly people are disagreeing on the whole thing. So let me know what you think, and as well about Alexis Sanchez. Or do you think he should be staying at the club and getting that one last chance? Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you do like these reaction videos, make sure I don't know, leave a comment for any that you want me to do in the future. Just send me a message on Twitter, at United People's TV, and I'll take a look at them. Until next time, though, take it easy.